Springfield XDS 9mm. This one's on loan to me from my buddy Zach. Appreciate that. So I don't know about currently because this is one of the more original ones. Uh, these have been out for maybe a decade. Uh, these were pretty popular back in the day. Um, back when uh, single stack 9mm was all the rave before all the uh, double stack uh, offerings started coming out. Uh, the more modern ones like the P365 and the Shield and Shield Plus and things like that. Um, so I don't know if they currently still come with this case because this one's probably, probably getting close to a decade old. But I was just blown away by this case. I mean, look how massive it is compared to, we got uh, a Nano in here. That's what the Nano comes with. I'll be reviewing that next. This thing's just massive. It almost looks like a, uh, a briefcase of sorts. And then it's got all this nice, really firm foam in here. Slots for everything. And everything fits perfect, nice and firm, steady. Uh, looks like it came with uh, some sights there you could cut down to replace your factory sights if they get war. Because I believe, yep, those are the same color. So as you can see, those ones there need cleaned or changed out because they're pretty dirty. So nice of them to include those. I do believe it came with it. So it's a 7 plus 1 capacity with the flush fit magazine and then the extended magazine. It looks like it says 9 there, so 9 plus 1 capacity with that. There's what it looks like in my hand with the flush fit. I do have kind of smaller hands, okay, So, but I still got a pretty good grip on that. I've always really liked the texturing on these, even though you got get a little pinky kind of hanging off there. It gives you a real good grip. There's your sight picture. Again, those rear should be bright green, so those probably need switched out wow that thing is really steady look at that just one hand in it there it's super steady i remember how much i like this thing now i shot it once back in the day and i remember i really liked it but we're, we're really going to get to shoot it today um let's see here try this on for size and then there's with the extended so that changes things drastically there and it's almost like a i mean other than the gun being real narrow because it's a single stack carry pistol uh it's almost like a full size grip there got plenty of real estate for all my fingers so it's got a trigger safety and a grip safety the mag release is ambidextrous you can hit it from either side and it's got a real nice polished feed ramp so we are empty here slide release works real well on this but that could be due to the fact that it does have a few rounds through it but real easy to manipulate there the trigger it is a striker fire and it's probably about five pound trigger it feels like to me so it does have a, a little bit of creep being a an older striker fire that's a little bit more than a glock or a mmp that has so here's the trigger there's your take up and we'll pull through so quite a bit of travel there but not the worst but not as good as like a glock or an m p and of course some of the newer stuff there's like no travel whatsoever no creep whatsoever with some of the newer uh, striker stuff but depending on the person in a carry gun that might be somewhat desirable because it's almost like a double action it's much lighter than a double action and it's got less travel than a double action uh, but in a sense it's almost like a double action hybrid only giving you uh, the much lighter pull and shorter pull there so uh, some people might like that that it has a little travel a little safer uh, for drawing that way because it doesn't have a hair trigger so you got a little bit of a tack rail there on the front the sights are windage driftable front and rear it looks like certainly the rear though and one last note besides the obvious lock here it does come with two different uh, grip panels there and zach told me that uh, there was another holster that went here too probably the uh well yeah it looks like this is the mag so yeah this is a mag holster and then it came with a holster as well but he's got somewhere else in the house all right so i'm gonna get loaded up with this norma 115 grain range and training here and we'll start shooting And those are pretty easy to load being single stack. All right, so I'll take the first mag at the paper target down there. I'm gonna hold six o'clock zero on the center bullseye. And then after that, once I see where we're hitting, I'll try to knock some steel down.
you see it's shooting a little low left so uh it's i guess it's not that low considering that with a six o'clock hold my front sights right here which is off to the left so um it's off the left for me but it might not be for the owner so i'm not going to uh mess with drifting the side any uh so we'll just compensate All right, well, I missed a few there towards the end because I tried to speed up a little bit, but with trying to compensate off to the right at the same time, it's messing me up there a little. I'd be able to run faster if these uh, sights were dead on for me. So as you can see there, all those are slightly off to the left there, just like they were on the target. So I'm even forgetting sometimes, especially doing that rapid there, to oh, I got to aim off of the right side to adjust it. So like I said, I'm having a little bit of difficulty because of that. But not everyone shoots the same. Depending on grip and the way they look at the sight and whatnot, I could sight it in for me and it'd be dead on bullseye. And then the next person could grab it and they'll be hitting consistently high left or low right or something like that. Um, so since it's not my gun, I'm not going to mess with the sights. All right, I'm going to slow down a little bit, so hopefully I don't miss any now. All right, that's uh, all 50 rounds out of that box. Forgot to mention the last one was only partial. It had six instead of seven. Uh, but there you go, all 50 rounds. Like I said, shooting a little low left for me, so that was affecting me a little bit out there, but I didn't want to change it because I'm not the shooter of this gun. It's on loan. Um, obviously, it runs flawless. Shot it many, many years ago, and we didn't have any issues either, so they're a pretty reliable gun. Um, not had any issues with this one whatsoever. I don't believe very many people have issues with theirs. And I'm going to say, I think the trigger's a little heavier than five pounds, maybe five and a half, six, because uh, it, it felt about the same weight as, uh, I always felt like the M&Ps were a little heavier than the Glock, so the, the weight feels about like an M&P out there, so a little heavier than I would like. Uh, the travel's a little more than I would like, but as you can see, it's not really affecting me hitting my uh, targets out there. What is affecting me is having to compensate uh, by aiming off to the right side there. But yeah, 50 rounds is all I can afford to do right now. I would love to do hundreds and hundreds of rounds, but that's not going to happen until I have an ammo sponsorship one day. I'm working on it, um, but yeah, with the price of ammo and especially gas right now, uh, that's all I can do through it. If you guys want to support the channel, check out the thanks button under the video. If you want to get yourself some of these targets, target stand, uh, steel target like my gong there that I bring, uh, earmuffs, anything you see me use in the videos, uh, to the best of my ability, links will be in the description. Uh, yeah, but real short and sweet today. Uh, I, I do like these a lot. Like I said, uh, a lot of people are swaying towards the double stack options now with the higher capacity. Uh, but believe it or not, there's still a lot of people out there that don't believe you need more than six or seven rounds. Uh, me personally, I sway towards a few extra rounds in case there's multiple attackers. Um, but uh, for those people who are just fine with six, seven, uh, nine rounds, uh, this is a, a very viable option. And especially if you can uh, pick one up for a, a good use price. The only thing I will say, though, is I don't really ever see these for sale used. So I think that kind of speaks for uh, the gun itself. Uh, people that have them, they, they don't typically sell them because they like them. 
But that's going to do it, guys. Appreciate you stopping by and watching. As always, like I said, we got the, the Nano coming up soon, so we're going kind of old school here a little bit. Not too old school, uh, but those are some old uh, older classics there, 10, 15 years now, that used to be pretty popular for all these double stack options, so we'll be doing the Nano next. I got tons and tons of 9mm gel tests, and I'm constantly adding to that list, but I did finally create a 9mm gel test uh, playlist. If you want to see some 9 gel tests, just check out the playlist on the channel. Uh, but like I said, appreciate you guys stopping by, and hopefully I see you on the next one.